today is the day that we are going to decorate for Halloween. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Stay tuned at the end of the video because we will talk about the more difficult vocabulary words at the end. First, let's start by sorting the Halloween decorations. Let's see what we have. Oh, a spider. Hmm, should he go in the kitchen or the living room? Kitchen. Oh, this hangs on the wall. Nice. This goes in the living room. Oh, oh it's a costume of a Diet Coke. We're not going to put that up. Oh, a tablecloth. This goes in the living room. Garland with skulls. This goes in the living room. A witch's hat. Living room. Hmm. A skeleton. He goes in the living room. Ooh, a witch's broom. Hmm. Living room. Oh, a fake spider web. Hmm. Kitchen. Oh, a little witch's hat. Let's put that in the kitchen too. Oh, another costume. That's not a decoration. <laughs> this isn't a decoration either. Another costume. A hippie. Hmm. Oh, a creepy house. Let's put that in the kitchen. A skeleton of a bat. Do not enter undead inside. This goes in the living room. Oh, this is super cute. Welcome to our web. Hmm. This goes in the living room, I think. Oh, look. It's a skeleton of a cat. Living room. Oh, so this, this is a spice rack. You put your spices like pepper or garlic or paprika on this. We're going to use it for something different. Oh, this is just some creepy fabric. Hmm. We'll put that in the kitchen, but maybe, maybe we won't use it. Oh, a lantern with a skeleton. Cute. Oh, and you can put a little candle inside. See? Hmm. Kitchen. A mask mm. and another mask and a shield. I have a lot of costumes. Two guns, a sword. Else? A silly pair of glasses. <laughs> These 
these are not decorations. Oh, a tombstone. This will go outside. A, a skeleton of a rat living room. Oh, this goes into the ground. See, it has a stake, a part that sticks into the ground. That goes outside. A sign, I'd turn back if I were you. Living room. What else? Ooh, some bats. Kitchen. Enter if you dare. Kitchen. handsome devil, a wicked witch, and their little monsters. I think I put that on my door last time. Mm, but maybe, maybe we'll put it outside. A sugar skull. Oh, this has to go in the living room. Hmm. More cobwebs, one in the kitchen, one in the living room. Uh, that's weird. It's a sugar skull on a steak, but it's upside down. Outside, more bats. some gloves. These are not decorations. Some knives, not decorations. Um, there are a lot of things in here that are trash. Um, ooh, a skull. In the kitchen. What is this? Oh, this goes on a door. Huh, it's a door cover. living room things and put it on the bathroom door. Let's see. Two more tombstones. We'll decorate those later. Hmm. Oh, it's a trick or treat bag. You put your candy inside, but you can decorate with it too. We'll put it in the kitchen. jack-o-lantern. Uh, the steak's broke. I think it's trash. All right, that's everything. Now let's talk about a few more difficult vocabulary words. The first is sorting. What does that mean? 
that's when you have things like these Legos that are mixed together and you separate them into groups of things that are alike. For example, we sorted, we're, we're sorting the Legos. The blue are here, the orange are here. That is sorting. In the video, we sorted the Christmas or the Halloween decorations. Some went in this pile to go to the kitchen, some went in this pile to go to the living room, and some went in this pile to go outside. The next is creepy house. What does that mean? A creepy house is one that you look at and it makes you feel afraid. Creepy means it looks a little scary. Steak. A steak is something with a point that you put into the dirt. We use steaks for um, camping. We put our tent into the ground with stakes that keep the tent in place so the wind doesn't blow it away. Upside down. That means when you take something like this candle and do this, the candle is upside down. The upside, the side that's supposed to be up, is down, upside down. I hope that these vocabulary words have been helpful. Make sure you watch in the next few days because I'll be making new videos to show you how I decorate my house and to talk about the meaning of some of the signs that you saw today. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.